What other questions? What's been the, for you, what's been the most challenging part about just the transition from high school to college? Um, I think the biggest thing that I've noticed is really just the playbook. Um, but I do think our coaching staff has done a really good job of kind of getting me prepared and getting ingrained into it. But um, I think that's just the biggest difference from, from level to level is just the depth and um, the amount of checks and things you got to know on offense, um, which is definitely important for an offense to have. But it's, it's definitely a big adjustment for sure. I think that's been probably the biggest challenge so far in spring ball. You had one of those kind of welcome to college football moments yet where the defense was a little faster or, or something was different that you kind of – Experience? Um, I don't necessarily know if there's like a moment. Um, I mean, you always hear every time you go up to the next level, um, whether it be like high school to college, call to the NFL, like the speed is different. And I definitely noticed that right off the bat. Um, but I think it's, it's been cool to kind of go through practices. And I feel like really every practice, I can kind of feel like you're starting to get ingrained into it and um, kind of get with the speed of, of the guys that have already been here. So I, I think that's um, something I've noticed for sure. But I don't know if I necessarily have like a specific moment. Yes, what, just what aspect of, of the things that you're asked to do are, are you feeling most comfortable with right now? Um, I, I really like, we've put in a lot of RPO stuff, um, and I feel like that's, that's something I've been kind of executing well during practice and that I'm comfortable with. Um, kind of have a background of doing that in high school as well. So, um, But yeah, I, I really like um, the RPO th um, install that we put in um, so far this spring, and I've been, been comfortable with that. What's your early impression of uh, working with Coach Thomas and just some of the, the tools he's given you? Coach Thomas has been great. Um, really, right off the bat, you could notice that, you know, when he got hired, I saw he was in the, in the NFL, and you could just tell his, his ball knowledge is just um, really high. He's got a lot of experience at a lot of levels, so he knows a lot, and I feel like, you know, before I got here to now, like, I'm a completely different player as far as um, knowledge of the game of football, and, and a lot of that's come from Coach Thomas, so he's been great. You probably used to this from high school when you were playing with guys who were older than you when you first mm -hmm. started. But what, what's it like trying to lead at the position that has to lead with guys? Some guys are 22, 23 years old around you. Yeah, you know, um, when you're kind of put in that position, it's kind of just something you got to do. Um, but, but what I'd say is I think we have a really great group of older classmen that have kind of helped bring along some of the guys in our class and, and not kind of pushed them away but embraced them. Um, and I feel like they've, they've done that with me and, and, and Dylan as well, you know, all the quarterbacks. So it's... Um, I don't think it's been as challenging as I may have expected to be, um, but no, we have a great group of older guys that have that have helped us kind of come along. So, how do two of you freshman quarterbacks help each other? Just competition. Um, I really think you know, I have a lot of confidence in myself. Obviously, Dylan does as well. He's a great player. So, um, not only him, but Heinrich. All three of us, I think, really do a good job of pushing each other. And I think we've all gotten a ton of reps this spring so far. So it's. It's been good to kind of see what one guy's doing, not only learn from each other and help each other, but also compete and try to you know do better than the guy next to you. So, with, why, with, go ahead. with so much hype around Dylan, I mean, do you come in here as kind of like the underdog, on a, under the radar mentality, or what mentality do you take heading into the spring? Um, I'm sure some people could look at it like that, but really, I'm just worried about you know being the best player that I can be and, and competing every day. Um, you kind of hear it, you know, there's a lot of hype around a lot of guys that came in. Um, I'm sure some of the upperclassmen have had the same thing, but um, we got guys who are unranked, walk-ons, all the way to five stars that have played on this team. And I think that's something that, you know, it's great to have in high school, but when you get to the next level, um, it's just important to, to work hard and, and compete every single day. And I'm confident, you know, the, the best guy is always going to play. We want what's best for the team. So um, I don't really look at it like that. You know, me and Dylan, you know, we're, you know, we have a good relationship already and really just push each other to get better every day. What kind of opportunity is it for you guys, though, to get these kind of reps? I mean, usually freshmen coming out of high school don't get the ones and two type reps mm -hmm. right away. You guys are getting that right now. Yeah, I think it's huge. Um, I don't really know what to expect as far as what reps we're going to be. Um, but kind of like first day, they're kind of putting us out there, uh, getting a ton, ton of reps with whether it be the ones, the twos, and kind of mixing it up with ones and twos are kind of mixed up in some groups. So um, I think it's been super valuable, and it, it's really helped us kind of progress along quicker than, than maybe not being able to get those types of reps. So I think it's been great so far. These five practices really confirmed that you guys made the right decision in enrolling early, Daniel? Yeah, for sure. I think that's something I've wanted to do um, ever since I wanted to play in college football. You know, I went to Bellevue West, and I remember kind of Jay Ducker was a guy who did that um, early on, and then really every year at Bellevue West kind of had people do that after. So it's something I planned on doing um, for a while, and I definitely made the right choice. You know, I feel like I'd definitely be a little behind if I came in the summer, so uh, it, it's definitely the right decision. What's the thing that you feel like you're doing pretty well so far? And then what's the thing where you're like, yeah, I got to catch out? Yeah, I think, um, 
like I said earlier, like the speed of the game is different, but I'm kind of proud of the way I've been able to process um, for the most part, especially with uh, the type of defense that, that Coach White teaches with so much movement. They're not running the same coverage twice in a row average. So you, so you really kind of got to be on your toes as far as doing that. Um, but something I, I feel like I need to improve in um, is just kind of knowing what, they're, what the defense is going to be in you know, pre-snap because they do so much. It keeps us on our heels, like I said. So um, still got a lot to learn, um, but I feel, I'm proud of the way I've been able to process for the most part. So. Is it, uh, is there any kind of nice feeling for you to have Davon along for the ride with you? Um, and then, and what's it like, the dynamic among all of the, such a big number of, of uh, early enrollees who are here this semester? Yeah, I think it's always cool to, um, to have a guy that you know and are kind of close with already. Uh, we already have a little bit of a connection, obviously, playing in high school for four years. So um, you know, I think I kind of noticed it the first day. You know, I ended up hitting on like, on like a route to the outside. I didn't even really feel like I noticed it was him, but it just felt natural. So some of that kind of stuff is, is natural when you have a connection with a guy already. But um, overall, I feel like the day that, that this early enrollee group got here, um, we have just really had a really tight-knit group from the start. Um, so I just really think I've gotten close to, to all those guys for sure. What's your impression of just the receiving group in general that you've been able to work with? Really talented, uh, you know, top to bottom. I think um, so many guys I've never thrown with before. Um, like some guys, you know, that are on my on my team for the competition um, that I've got to kind of hook up with more is Jaden Doss is really talented. Isaiah Nayer is really talented, a big big target. Um, been love, loving throwing to Nate Borkature, really good big target, sure hands. So, um, but all around, I feel like we have a really really great group of receivers that um, are going to be able to make a lot of plays for us. We should still technically be a senior this spring. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you're still balancing? Will you go back and like walk for graduation? Is there anything that you're kind of like still doing in addition to being here? Yeah, I mean, not much I've been doing now, but I am planning on going back and walking for graduation. Um, but, but yeah, really, I've just been, just been locked in on, on being here and um, embracing everything that comes with being a college athlete. So. you go to prom? Uh, I'm not planning on it. No, no. <laughs> no. Anything else, Danny? Good. Appreciate you guys.